Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Corn here, and real quickly I'm going to try to show you a project share. As you know, Crafty Nita and I are not doing our, um, I started to say PayPal, oh boy, pen pal, um, exchange, but I am with uh, Craft Junkie because we didn't do it last month. We're trying to give each other, and especially me, some time to get a lot of other work done around the house or um, whatever else is going on. So I wanted to show y'all what I've been working on. And as you, most of you know me, you'll know Craft Junkie, and she loves um, things that are celestial and she loves gems. So I tried to combine those for her. I did not know until I had already started this project that she actually did a tutorial on a loaded pocket that actually included one of the papers I use. <laughs> well, I know she likes it, so that's the good part, but the bad part is like, uh-oh. But let me go through this. I did use from Michael's the gem tags that are holographic. Ooh. I used this punch from Momenta, which I think I got it Tuesday morning. This punch from Hobby Lobby. And this little punch that is from a thrift store for like 38 cents. And I can tell why someone gave it up because my fingers hurt quite a bit from using it. <laughs> I used, I didn't bring down everything because like you all know my craft room is upstairs and filming's downstairs. So I used this washi, <clears throat> which I've had for some time, but I think this is Mrs. Sparkle & Co, I think. And then I also used these two washies and they are from Hobby Lobby. They were on 75% off recently and in my haul I showed you guys. And then the 75% off in March is when I got the paper pad, which is called Moonstruck, and it's by Pink Paisley. And I don't know if Craft Junkie has the whole pad or if she just has this piece, but this piece she definitely used. So she might have the whole thing. If she doesn't, I would be surprised because this is so much her, you know? It's just almost everything she likes. So I'm pretty sure she does. There's the feathers she likes, the planets. There's beautiful script with almost looks like a watercolor. There's a flowers. Then the cut aparts are really pretty. Just a beautiful paper pad. It really is. Love these keys. She likes keys too. Doilies. This, this is where I took um, a circle punch and made the moon. <laughs> You'll see that in a few minutes. And then we just repeat, okay? And so there's my paper pad. So, I, here's what I came up with. This is, let me see, I've got to get this way out here. This is a loaded bag, but this bag I purchased for her some time ago. It's the ones, the paper bag that has the paper um, uh, handles. And you have to take them out very uh, gingerly. And then I go ahead to cover up where they were. I go ahead and put two pieces of paper there. But this is the front. We have a pocket here. And then this is how the back came out. I made a belly band and put her some um, napkins in because she is thinking about doing some decoupaging. And you know she loves butterflies, so she did get her hollow butterfly punched out. And then this is in the paper pad also with those beautiful butterflies. And I didn't bring down this washi, but this washi was at Hobby Lobby for 75% off also. And I did the belly band, and there's the moon I was talking about that matches the moon here. I tried to get as close as possible. Made this belly band, and then this is... Um, 
a magnetic clip that came from, let's see, I think it was, yeah, it was Dollar Tree that had that. And then I also did this gem for her, punched that out, and then fussy cut it so that she could have that gem in the corner. Just lots of stars and planets. And then this um, trim, or it was not really trim, this piece right here is was given to me by West Coast Crafty Babe. I think you all saw that when she handed some, threw some stuff my way. And I said I would use it, and I sure did. The smaller cut aparts are in this little envelope that I made. There's the gem washi tape, and it says Dream On. And there's trying, like I said, I put a different light on to try to show you all all this hollow. The hollow paper itself that I did all the punches in comes from, uh, it's either Joanne Fabrics or Hobby Lobby. Then these are the cut apart, the larger ones, Dream Big, all the good, wonderful, lovely, spectacular vibes. I love you to the moon and back. There's those gorgeous keys. Hello. And heart. I hope I put everything back the way it is. <laughs> then I made her three tags and um, Hobby Lobby ribbon, Hobby Lobby ribbon, and Dollar Tree. And this one is Daydreamers and Stargazers because she is a stargazer. And then this one is her feathers. I did some fussy cutting, you know, to make them look like they were flowing. And then here's her, this one is a little bit of hollow and a star and then her butterflies. Very pretty paper pad. And then um, in the paper pad, you get this whole circle, but I cut a quarter of it out so that I could put it here. I did some punches, and in order to get the blue glitter punches, I put the washi tape, this washi tape, on white cardstock and then punched it out. And I did some stickles. I didn't bring that down either. I'm sorry. And on each of the stars, I did put a little bit of the stickles so that hopefully y'all can see they do shine. And this ended up being rather narrow, but I was able to get some stuff in and then I have some stuff on the side. So one of these with uh, the post note. And you all saw me get this from Michaels because, and she probably does already have this gem, but if she does, she can either pay this forward or she can not hold on to hers and maybe use this one, whatever she wants to do. You all also saw me haul these for her. Again, she does like the arrows and roses. Just put a different topper. She gets some punches of the um, unicorns. And then I got her these um, from Die Cuts with a View. These gems and that almost looks like glass doesn't it and then you also saw me haul <laughs> these little darling from Michaels these darling gems which actually the color is perfect for because purple and lavender you know is her favorite color and then they're holographic also and then she also gets um, some goodies in a bag the duck and the holographic duct tape and some ribbon and a little um, charm and then I made this for her that is a, a kilt pin that I put the beads on to look like planets. Of course I don't know if there's a pink planet out there but it is in my world and you all know these bags are the ones that she loves. They're dealing with planets and unicorns and it's just perfect for her and she has some extra ones in here too and some other goodies too but I thought you'd get a kick of when I thought this looked like maybe we could say it came from a planet <laughs> and she can do whatever she wants with that and then I did make a card for her 
and it came out like this. It says, Moonbeams and Memories Create the Life You Love. And I used um, solid paper here and then put a ribbon around that, used the washi here and here. And then on the back, it has, we would have to bring the stars, have to follow through. And then it says, May buy corn. And it has, yes, a little bunny that Tammy from my world in OKC gifted to me and on top of the hollow and then her um, envelope just has the holographic stars too and that's what i came up with for my darling craft junkie or i call her my cj and like i said most of you know purple uh, planets and celestial anything that has to do with the universe and stargazing and then gems so i tried to put everything together that i thought that she would enjoy and i want to thank you all for joining me today and i hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon or evening bye bye everybody